Hey guys, so Monday's endurance workout, you've got a partner wad. You're going to be working alternating rounds with your partner. Um, and there's four sections. You do five rounds each of each section, okay? In each section, there's two movements. So your first one, you've got five rounds each alternating um, through six devil's press and 150 meter run, row or ski or 300 meters on your bike. Okay, so what you'll do is partner one will do six of your devil's press, then go for the 150 meter run, then partner two will do it. And you'll keep alternating through that until you've both completed it five times each. Okay, so I'll go through those movements. So you've got your six devil's press, which you can do with a kettlebell or a dumbbell. If you're using a kettlebell, don't place your hand on the kettlebell, just place it on the floor. Obviously, it's an unstable position otherwise. So you go for your burpee on your weight. Then you'll take it through into a snatch overhead. And then you might alternate onto the other arm. Then you go for your run. Okay. Then your partner does it. Once you've done that five rounds each, you will then move on to the next section, which is eight deck squats, followed by 50 double unders. Both of these movements are quite tough, quite, not necessarily technical, but you do require a decent level of um, strength to do your deck squat. And then obviously the skill on the double unders. So for the deck squat, there's ways of making it slightly easier. I'll show you a full rep and then I'll show you how to make it slightly easier. So for your deck squat, you're gonna go down into a squat, roll back and then forward back into your squat and stand up. Okay, so back, through and stand up straight. It does look easy when someone does it well, but believe me, I've tried it many times before when I've been tired and it's not been possible. So what you can do on your way up, you can put your hands on the floor to give you a little bit of help, okay? Like so. And you won't believe how much of a difference that makes. It makes a massive difference, okay? If you can't do those, then feel free to do burpees or something slightly different, all right? Your other movements, your 50 double unders. You've got 100 single skips as your scaling option. Alternatively, you can choose a number of double unders that's more appropriate for you. Okay, that might take you about 30 seconds maybe. Um, other option, you could do um, toe taps or speed steps as you might call them onto your weight. That way you've obviously got the option of doing it all inside. Okay, um, and yeah, a couple of options there for you. So once you've done five rounds each of that one, you'll move on to the next section. Next section is 10 single arm clean and jerks with your kettlebell or dumbbell, followed by 10 single arm overhead lunges. Okay, once you've done five rounds each of that, you will then move on to the next section. So your single arm clean and jerk is as it sounds. You do five on each side. So clean, jerk. Once you've done that, you will then go into 10 overhead lunges. If you can't do an overhead lunge because of stability, good option is to do a goblet lunge, just to make it slightly easier. Okay. Once you've done that, five rounds each, you move on to the last section, arguably the hardest section. You've got 12 single arm dumbbell or kettlebell thrusters, followed by 12 burpees, which you can do either on the spot, depending on the space you've got, or you could do a burpee over your dumbbell or a burpee with a double jump over your dumbbell, depending on your space that you've got, okay? So your 12 single arm thrusters, I would do six on my right and six on my left. Okay, so I'll take the weight up onto the shoulder. I'll go for a full squat and then overhead. Okay, full squat, then overhead. Once I've done six, I'll switch sides and then I'll put my weight on the floor so you could do Either a normal burpee, if you've got a bit more space, you might choose to do burpee over your dumbbell. So burpee this side, jump over your weight. Or another fun option is to do a double jump. So burpee, plus a double jump. <sighs> Out of breath now. So that is your workout, so you'll do five rounds of that each as well. And then you're done. The last section is definitely the toughest one. It's a good one to finish on. But yeah, 
it'll be a really really good workout i anticipate with my practicing last week around about 40 to 50 minutes for most people depending on what kind of weight you go with okay but enjoy <laughs>